Throw his ass somewhere. Oh, sh God damn. Okay, yeah. All right. <clears throat> yeah, we're about to watch. Fuck, I'm going to start over. What's up, everybody? I'm back with another one. And you already know we're about to watch some Game of Thrones episode 5, season 4. You feel me? The one and only character I wanted out of here got out of here two episodes ago. You feel me? Well, three after I watched this one. But you know what it is. If y'all want to support the channel, check out my short films. Link is in the description. Uh, I'm working on it. I'm working hard on them. I got two more left. And it's just been a little bumpy ride to get to the third one. So yeah, yeah, just stay tuned. Just stay tuned. No, yeah, let's just hop into this right now. May the warrior grant him courage and protect him in these perilous times. May the smith grant him strength that he might bear this heavy burden. And may the crone, she that knows the fate of all men, show him the path he must walk and guide him through the dark places that lie ahead. In the light of the seven, I now proclaim Tommen of the House Baratheon, first of his name, King of the Anvils and the First Men, and Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. Long may he reign! Long may he reign! You're king now, kid. Yeah, look at them. They they want him way more than than they wanted Joffrey, bruh. Stop walking like that, bruh. You know you can walk better than that. Got to keep up with appearances, huh? Shit. Mhm. Mm Your little tooth fairy over there, huh? Ha <laughs> ha! You wanna die? She gonna kill your bitch? Okay. She coming over there? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit! You know she can kill you at any point, right? You know she wants to, right? All right. About to tell you that. You okay? great. Long may he reign. He sits the throne like he was born to it. Yeah? He wasn't, though, was he? No, he wasn't. You still mourn for Joffrey? He was my husband, my king. Grace, I feel you knew exactly what he was. Y'all both do. You never love anything in the world the way you love your first child. Doesn't matter what they do. And what he did, it shocked me. I bet it did. I bet it did. Do you think I'm easily shocked? No. The things he did shocked me. I bet it did. You didn't think he, he he had it in him. He that man was a a good boy, a decent boy. He always has been. Who? Who was the last decent king? I wonder. He could be the first man who sits on that throne in fifty years. Queen of King's Landing. Ten thousand men can't conquer Westeros. The old houses will flock to our queen when she crosses the narrow sea. The old houses will flock to whichever side they think will win, as they always have. That's true. They've been doing that <laughs> since the start of this shit. From young time, without the unsullied to enforce your rule, the wise masters have retaken control of the city. They've reinstated the freedmen who stayed behind and sworn to take revenge against you. 
and in Astapor. The council you installed to rule over the city has been overthrown by a butcher named Cleon, who's declared himself his imperial majesty. Please lead me. So all that shit was for nothing? The fuck? What the fuck was you doing then? <laughs> Here's my liberation of Sabres Bay isn't going quite as planned. You could sail for Westeros and leave it all behind. A boy sits on the Iron Throne, a boy many believe to be a bastard with no right to be. They'd never be more vulnerable. You cancelled me against rashness once in Karth. I didn't listen. It all worked out well. That's true. You you write about that. So what what what's up? Seven kingdoms. If I can't control Slaver's Bay, why should anyone trust me? Why should anyone follow me? You're a Targaryen. You're the mother of dragons. I need to be more than that. You need to be. I will not let those I have freed slide back into chains. I will not sail for Westeros. What then? Yeah, what are you going to do? I will do what queens do. I will rule. Okay, okay, okay. I thought you was about to say something else. I, I honestly don't know what the fuck you was going to say, but... You rule, okay. So rule. Come on, go, 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 save your people. So she just went to those towns and left them. You know what kind of stories poor men enjoy the most? Ones about rich girls they'll never meet. What took you so long? Arranging for the ascension of King Tommen I, extricating Sansa, getting her here alive. She's here. I spent more than enough time in her for one evening. Let's get married tonight. Ought we not? Inform the Lords of the Vale about the ceremony. There's only one Lord of the Vale. The others can all hang, lurking and simpering on the stairs like buzzards the moment my husband dies, trying to get their claws in me. I do think that we could wait until... I'm done waiting, Peter. We had a wedding night many years ago. Don't you remember? Like it was yesterday. What wife? Would do for you the things I've done for you. What wife would trust you the way I've trusted you? You gave me these drops. You told me to pour them into John's well. My husband's well. And you told me to write a letter to Kat, telling her it was the Lannister. You is a motherfucking you boy. Oh my god. You is a diabolical, strategical mastermind. I don't even know if strategic, whatever that word I just said is a word. Wow. Tonight it is then. <laughs> Let me bathe and dress for the occasion. Once I'm presentable, I'll call on the Septon immediately. I'm warning you. I'm going to scream when my husband makes love to me. I'm going to scream so loud. You'll hear me clear across the narrow sea. Yeah. 
She wasn't lying. She wasn't lying. <sighs> Bruh. When will the wedding take place in your mind? As soon as decency permits. After we've allowed Tommen the appropriate time to mourn his brother. Seven course meal. And your wedding to Loras? Jugglers, no jousting dwarfs. That's crazy. Shortly after Thomas. Shortly. A fortnight. You know you don't like them. I didn't like your husband. He used to pat me on the back a lot. I didn't trust him. We had that in common. You don't need to make formal alliances with people you trust. Then whom can we trust? Each other? Hopefully. Alone. Tyrells are our only true rivals in terms of resources, and we need them on our side. Robert wasn't particularly rich. Robert had me funding him. Wars swallow gold like a pit in the earth. I suppose that explains why we did so well in the last one. I noticed. How much gold was my he gave her. Last year. Haven't a clue. Well, go on, your best guess. Pounds, tons, ounces. Doesn't matter, the answer's the same. It can't be. Our last working mine ran dry three years ago. And how do we pay for anything? The Crown owes the Iron Bank of Brothers a tremendous... I had three crates brought all the way from King's Landing. I knew you liked lemon cakes. He's so kind. He really cares for you. Think where you'd be without him. In their clutches and tire for murder. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm very lucky. Yeah. He's responsible for you. Oh, I know he does. I'm so grateful. Why? Why does he feel responsible for you? Well, I'm, I'm half Tully. He loves your family so Loved much. Loved your mother? No. That's what you wanted to say. He loves you, Aunt Lizzie. He's married your to you. never loved him. Never. Cat always went straight for the sweetest thing. The most obvious thing. Your uncle Brandon. A handsome, arrogant... Oh, boy. shit. He almost killed Peter in a duel. And your mother loved him anyway. And now, Peter is risking his life to save you. The daughter of a woman who didn't love him. No more than those whores in his brothel. <clears throat> we need help. Help in here. Come on. Someone. Someone come in here. Help this woman. Let him do with her bodies. No, never. Are you pregnant? What? No, I told you. Lord Tyrion and I What's never... Thought... asking about Tyrion. What if you let Peter do with your body? I'm not saying no. I... Your young, pretty body. Nothing. I'm a virgin. Don't lie. Oh, shit. Think me. I'll know if you lie. I'm a virgin, I swear it. He loves you, Aunt Liza. All he says is that I'm a stupid, I'm a stupid little girl with stupid dreams who never learns, and I'm a terrible liar, so I should always tell the truth. I swear to you that he's never touched me, not once, not ever. Oh, no, it ain't. She don't know where to be. You'll execute that dwarf for murdering the king, and you'll be free to marry Robin. You'll be the Lady of the Vale. Hmm? Mm. Weird. Weird. Yeah, motherfuckers, weird. This dude don't know how to ride a horse? I can't talk, because I, I wouldn't be able to either. Didn't they teach you how to ride a horse? Yes, the lady, when I was young. There wasn't much call for it with Lord Tyrion, though. He preferred litters. Perhaps you should have stayed with him. It's not going to be a pleasant journey for you. It could take weeks to get to the wall, depending on the weather. That's a long way off. Well, Lady Sansa's brother's at Castle Black. If I were her, that's where I'd go. Feel free to stop at any point. Never, my lady. I'm your squire. 
Could have made it this far in the world without a squire. I don't see why I need one now. All knights have squires. We move at sundown. I always like the girl with curls. Touch of class. You take whatever's left. Get her up. Stop. Stop, what are you doing? Ah, oh, god damn. Oh shit. Please leave her alone. Please stop. Stop, Pete. What are you doing? You Crazy. How are you going to do that? That's a sight. To see things. Oh, that's very helpful. Things that haven't happened yet. That's a fine thing. A fine thing. Have you seen what I'm going to do to your sister? No, I just seen how you're going to die. You ain't going to do a damn thing to his sister. I'm... <clears throat> Nothing about to happen. Nothing about to happen. Somebody about to come in here. I saw your body burn. I saw the snow fall and bury your bones. Here, the night's watch. So y'all didn't even come in quiet. Y'all just came in. No, oh, that's stupid as fuck. I'd have came in quick with the quickness. Brandon Stark. A little crippled lord. You're going for a ride, boy. John! 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 Keep talking, and I'll cut your friend's throats. That's fucking crazy. Do you you hear? Damn. Yo, big ass. I know you can get out of that shit. Come on, man. Throw his ass somewhere. Oh, God damn. 
He broke his everything. Chosen, mirror, freedom. Go. Ah, uh, you use whole door to kill somebody. Don't say anything yet. You want to see John? Let him see John at least for a second or two. I mean, he can't. He he too busy fighting. Hold off. We need to free Summer, and we need to go. You playing too much. John trying to kill you. You playing. It's always the motherfuckers that be playing, bruh. Body ain't gonna burn, and the snow ain't gonna pile up his body or whatever. Come with me. Come with me if you want to live. What the fuck happened to him? Seven else could do that to a man. I count ten dead mutineers. Fox said there were eleven of them. Where's Rust? He gonna find himself next to a damn, uh, 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 Walker thingy. Oh no. You gonna get you gonna die by that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Wolfie. Come on, Wolfie. <laughs> oh yeah. Fire. <laughs> John. 
Done. Where is seven else? Come here. I missed you, boy. Mm hmm. What should we do with this lot? It's not safe for you here on your own. Mance Raider has an army heading this way, and there's worse out there than Mance. Come with us to Castle Black. You can find your work. Keep you safe. Meaning all respect to the Crow. Crust have beat us. And worse. Your brother Crow's beat us, and worse. We'll find our own way. You want to stay here? In Craster's Keep? Burn it to the ground. Okay, so his okay. Dead with it. All right, he's he, he was right. So his body's gonna burn. we wanted to see was Jon Snow meet up with uh uh whatever his name is and he used Hodor to uh kill that man Hodor got some crazy ass strength boy he broke like his whole freaking shoulder and neck out of goddamn place uh shit I don't know what's coming next I don't I don't even know what to expect at this point for up because every time I expect someone to live they die so I'm not gonna just come up with some shit I'm gonna just enjoy the ride you know what I'm saying so I hope y'all like the reaction if you did like and subscribe leave a comment tell me what you think of this episode and if you want to share my stuff y'all can share my stuff you know go on uh, uh, Twitter or X now or whatever it's called nowadays and um yeah you can get my book I haven't showed y'all in a minute. Link in the description. Check out my short films. And as always, thanks for watching. Deuces.